So, is KDE in trouble? Hey everyone, what's happening? One of my subscribers brought something to my attention about Cute and its possibility of closing off the Cute framework to only paying customers. If you don't know what Cute is, it is a programming framework and it is heavily involved in the KDE desktop and a lot of KDE apps. The KDE desktop is based on Qt and there are a lot and so are all the applications. Seems how everything is based off the Qt slash QT, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Qt. Seems how it's based off of this Qt framework and them closing it off that's going to seriously affect the development of KDE. Now KDE is not going to die because Qt right now is open source and it's free and just because they're going to close off the future versions of Qt for 12 months that doesn't mean KDE is going to stop working. It doesn't mean that KDE is not going to continue. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to my desktop and we're going to take a look at a couple stories and then I'm going to tell you why this is not going to be such a big deal. So here's one new story and it says new Qt releases possibly restricted to paying customers for 12 months. KDE not particularly happy. Okay, there's a storm brewing in the world of Qt and KDE as the parent company, the Qt Company, is contemplating re restricting new Qt releases to paying customers, i.e. not releasing them as open source for 12 months. This obviously affects the KDE project consider considerably, who have been ne negotiating with the Qt Company for years now. Um, well, okay, but basically, uh, then uh, the Qt made an announcement. The Qt company made an announcement. Um, it said they announced that the LTS releases of Qt will only be available to for paid licensed holders. It is unclear what this implies for contributions to Qt and for the sharing of security fixes between various parties, including the Qt fan or company. Blah blah blah. But now, um, it says, luckily there is an agreement between KDE and Qt that if the company discontinued the development of Qt Free Edition under the required licenses, then the foundation has the right to release Qt under a BSD style license. Well, okay, but they can do that because Qt is GPL licensed. So, we already have the code and what's going to happen to Qt if they go down this, this road? Well, they're just going to fork it. It's happened before. The most prominent example of this is OpenOffice. OpenOffice was free and open source under Sun Microsystems and uh, when Sun Microsystems was bought out by Oracle, they locked down parts of OpenOffice, and what happened? The open source community forked it and created LibreOffice. So here's the deal. KDE is not in any trouble at all. Q is as currently open source and it is licensed under the GPL. So we already have the source code. And so if they choose to go down this path, they're just going to fork it. Um, the most popular name is KT, and life will go on in the open source community. Now, as far as this is concerned, Cute. This is not a good road to go down. The open source community 
it's just going to oust you and they're gonna fork your project and then they're not gonna uh, trust you ever again. It has happened time and time again when someone closes off a project that has been open sourced, then it's game over for them. Open source communities will just fork it and then they'll just use their own, even if it's reopened. I mean, open office, who hears about that anymore? Nobody. It's now LibreOffice. The damage was already done by the time they opened up open office again. Nobody hears about it again. So, this is not a good road for them to go down at all. Because KDE and all that stuff, so they're going to fork it. They're going to continue to use it. They'll develop it themselves. And that's the way it's going to work. So KDE fans, you're not in any trouble. This is going to blow over. And if they do go down this route, we are going to survive. The open source community is going to survive. The cute apps are going to be the same way, except uh, based off the open source version of cute. So really, there's no reason to worry. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's what that thumbs down button is for. And go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.